Hello everyone, and I trust you're having a good day. The playbook of a narcissist suddenly becomes less extensive when they come to the realization that their manipulative strategies are no longer effective in influencing you. When it becomes clear that your indifference renders their victim facade ineffective, the once profitable strategy of playing the role of the amiable companion loses its allure and loses its appeal. In essence, the emotional tether that they relied on for manipulation breaks, making it impossible for them to manipulate you in any way. However, this does not definitely result in them leaving the organization. Instead, they change their strategy and try to exert an influence on those who are in close proximity to you in order to leave a lasting impression. Regrettably, a significant number of narcissists do not quickly move on to their next target. Rather, they have a tendency to maintain multiple victims both simultaneously and orchestrate the destruction of those victims. Narcissists persistently increase the number of people they victimize because they are driven by a desire for vengeance and malice. The loss of a source of sustenance does have a significant impact on them. Therefore, whether you choose to completely cut off all communication with them, set unyielding boundaries while actively evading their influence, or confront them directly about their manipulative behavior, the narcissist is able to recognize when their emotional ploys have reached their endpoint with someone, leaving them with limited options for redress. The purpose of this article is to examine three distinct strategies that narcissists employ when confronted with individuals who are resistant to their ability to manipulate or control them. Given the nature of your relationship with the narcissist, it is possible that they will employ any one of these strategies, or even all of them jointly. It is important to note, however, that their responses are contingent upon the realization that you represent a significant danger to their schemes. When the narcissist is confronted by someone who is perceptive or resilient to their schemes, the narcissist eventually becomes increasingly discomposed. They experience an increase in their vulnerabilities and anxieties, which compels them to look for ways to get these unsettling feelings under control once more. Taking apart your stand with care. A narcissist has a tendency to begin the process of devaluation when they are confronted with the resistance of an individual who refuses to be ensnared in their manipulation. In order to accomplish this devaluation, a variety of strategies have been implemented including attempts to embarrass or the orchestration of situations that will result in embarrassment. When someone engages in activities such as gossiping, slandering, or launching full-scale smear campaigns, the primary goal remains the same, to diminish the value of themselves and to undermine their credibility as individuals. In order to achieve their goal, they will isolate you and force others to turn their backs on you. From the perspective of the narcissist, the inability to exercise control is equivalent to an unwillingness to permit you to move forward with your life without any disruptions. As a consequence of this, any existing relationships that you have become targets for destruction. Therefore, even though you may have strengthened your defenses, rendering direct impact on you ineffective, those around you, who are less resilient or discerning, become unwitting pawns in the game that the narcissist is playing. To reduce both your popularity and the number of people who support you is the overarching goal. The goal of the narcissist is to break your relationship with as many people as possible, so that they will be suspicious of you in the event that you ever try to warn them about the narcissist's personality. Anything you can do, I can do better is the philosophy that they adhere to. The inability of a narcissist to control or manipulate another person is what drives them to compete with others more than anything else. Due to their inability to exercise control, they have resorted to attempting to outdo you. Their goal is to consistently demonstrate that they are superior to you in some part of the situation. As a result, they constantly evaluate their own lives in comparison to yours, eagerly anticipating the end of your existence. In comparison to you, the narcissist aspires to have a more sophisticated residence, a more extravagant automobile, 
a more alluring partner, and a more successful professional life. It is recommended that you have at least two children in order to maintain a competitive advantage. They pretend to have a better lifestyle by feigning success and going into debt in order to achieve this. As soon as they lose the ability to control or manipulate you, everything you do in their world turns into a competition. It becomes second nature for them to create happiness and prosperity for themselves. On the other hand, the most important aspect is that the narcissist must have the perception or the feeling that they are superior to you. A farewell is about to come. When it comes to saying goodbye, the last resort for a narcissist is to let go of someone when their hold on them becomes too strong for them to control or manipulate as they move on with their life. As time goes on, the narcissist will reach a point where the pain they are experiencing will become intolerable. This is not simply because their captive has escaped, rather, it is because they have come to the realization that their influence is no longer a factor in this individual's life. A narcissist will avoid spending more time with someone who is skilled enough to see through their facades because they are afraid of being judged. People of this nature are a source of significant unease for the covert narcissist. As a result, when this occurs, the narcissist looks for better opportunities, looking for new people to manipulate and dominate. They believe that it would be too dangerous to remain in the company of people who might reveal their true identity. There are concluding thoughts that emerge. However, it is essential to keep in mind that the narcissist is obsessed with control and will do anything to maintain it. When a narcissist is unable to exert control over another person, it is equivalent to losing control over that person. This is a situation that the narcissist is reluctant to accept, let alone abandon. The majority of the time, they will choose to conduct a covert operation in order to smear your reputation before they leave, or they will secretly plot in order to steal your belongings. The idea of leaving other people unharmed is abhorrent to them. People who have managed to get away from the narcissist will never be able to find peace in their lives. In the realm of the narcissist, the specter of vengeance is always present and forever present. They require nothing more than an opportunity. Therefore, it is absolutely necessary that we never give them another opportunity to enter our lives. For the time being, that brings us to the end of the day. However, I'm eager to interact with you. In the comment section below, I would appreciate it if you would share your thoughts and experiences in relation to today's topic. Additionally, if you have found this discussion to be helpful, please do not forget to click the like button that is provided. I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to you for your attentive ears and wish everyone a blessed week ahead.